Hello everybody, Shifty is here and I'm going to do a second rewind commentary. I think maybe just rewind sounds cooler than rewind uh, player replays and feedback. So maybe I'll just stick with that. Let me turn off my fan just to be sure that there is no distractionary noise. So let's get started. This will be a ZVT on, I don't remember what map, sorry, I didn't even, I mean, <laughs> Yeah, whatever map it is, I'm sure it'll be fantastically good. So let's just get started commentating this game. I'm not sure how long this game is either, so maybe this will have to be two parts. But regardless, it will. It should be fine. 22 minutes, alright. That's alright with me. Did, okay, also I do have a request. Does anybody know how to add that little, like, little something here so that you guys don't see how long the game is? I mean, I know you could still figure it out by watching how long the YouTube video is, but is there anything you guys could do? Anybody know how to add that, like, a just uh, some kind of picture here or anything like that? I know HD and Husky do it, I just don't know how to do it, so if anybody knows, can you please tell me, because I think it will be make my video production even better. Anyways, we have the blue Zerg named Morphos at the 1 o'clock, and the red Terran named Fink at the 7 o'clock. And Fink is going for the 10 supply, I believe. He should be. And what is Morphos doing? Morphos is going for something very, very... He is going for the 2 extractor trick, which I'm not sure. I guess this means he will be going for an... Earth. Why is... You You could just build an overlord, and it will be the same. Because when you build the extractor, you do lose, you do lose money. You lose 25 minerals. Uh for every time you cancel a building, you lose a third of whatever you invested in the building when you cancel it. So I don't know if that was a worth good trick because you are just building more drones. You might as well have just built the overlord, done one extractor trick, and get that one drone up and then build more drones. Because that is the popular Zerg build. I'm not too sure about this one. I wouldn't recommend it. So anyways, you have uh, what do you, are you go you're going for a fast expand clearly. You're gonna go for a fifteen uh, hatchery just as the Terran starts to scout. The Terran's going for a typical build. Let's see if he gets the... No, he is not going to be getting the orbital command at 15 supply, which he should, because it maximizes your production faster. So he is going for this block, which he could have just blocked with the reactor right here. It would actually allow his production to be faster. So uh, if you do block, build a reactor here. Reactor or tech lab right here instead of the supply. Just build a supply somewhere in your base, and you could still have a successful block without... Uh, slowing down your production. Anyways, where is the spawning pool? Yep, the spawning pool is down. I suspect it was a 15 pool. 15 hatch and 15 pool. And the extractor is 15 as well. You just keep building one and you build one drone and then you use another drone. So that's how Zerg works. Anyways, the, pro, uh, the Terran player could go for a bunker rush right now. But, and there is no scouting from the, oh, there's a little bit scout, but it's moving. He could have done a bunker rush. Just build a bunker right here or right here, or right here, or anywhere around here, because I recommend to you, Morphos, that you definitely need to keep an Overlord right on your expansion, because how are you supposed to know? Let me switch to you. How are you supposed to know if a Terran player is building a bunker? You don't, and if he does, then you're going to have to invest a lot of minerals in building more Zerglings, so you definitely want to keep an Overlord right on top of your base, and this person didn't, but if he did, which, if I was playing against you, I know I would have done it immediately, you would be in a lot of trouble, so be sure to always keep an overload right on your expansion to scout any bunker rush. Do not, ooh, spawn crawler really early. Just store down a few zerglings and you should be okay, because if the Terran player was doing anything uh, too damaging, um, he would, I mean, he wouldn't, he would easily be able to avoid your spine crawlers. This positioning of this spine crawler is a little questionable. What is this going to do? You might as well put it on this side to prevent any unit from crossing this whole gap right here. If you put it right here, you're essentially enforcing the same range you have enforced already so I would not suggest the, I would not recommend this positioning and spine caller maybe just one and then one here you could do that one here one here and you want to establish the creep highway I notice you don't have a queen in your base which you definitely need uh, you should build another queen then because you need another queen at your base to, s to speed up the production of drones here you want the creep highway established as soon as possible. All you need is one creep tumor and then another creep tumor and the creep tumors will just pay off for themselves. So invest, you know, 25 energy instead of spewing the larva and you should be alright. The Terran player, on the other hand, is going for... Uh, he's got his orbital command up and he's getting already getting Terran weapons 1. 
this is a very early investment in getting upgrades, which pay upgrades do pay off for themselves, but it is a big investment. And I can tell right now that the Terran player is already preparing a push. He's got combat shields researching, and he's building marines. Look at his production. He's got combat shield. He's got a siege tech. Uh, the, uh, so that means a tank is coming, and he's going to be doing a very early push. So you need some units soon, or at least some uh, tech buildings. You're focusing entirely... Oh, Spire is coming down. Where is it? There it is. Such a little thing hidden right over here. Uh, right next to the abyss. Like, you fall down, you're dead. <laughs> um, anyways... There, so a push is going to be coming, and you have four zerglings, so I guess that's all right. Four zerglings, a queen, 24 drones, you are, your income should be a little less, yep, a little less than the Terran because of the mule, but now it is on even grounds. Spit, that should be dropping very soon, yep, so you should be even with the Terran. And let's go back to production. The Terran is speeding up production, like, uh, very quickly, because the Terran uh, economy is definitely able to support however many, maybe three barracks and one factory, that is very manageable for the Terran one base and now you are moving the spine crawler so that's good you want to place all your spine crawlers in a line because in a line the defense is going to be they attack or whatever units push they will have to be attacked by all your spine crawlers at once if you have your spine crawlers in a line like let's say this they'll just move up take out one spine crawler one spine crawler one spine crawler so the spine crawlers need to be able to back each other up and that is the beauty of defense space defense so now you have your spire up and look at this disproportion of uh, of resources I think you got your um, your your extractors up way too early you kinda wanna by the time you finish your spire you're supposed to have even uh, gas and minerals because then you build around six at a time six or seven and then you start building uh, gas and uh, you just pump more so the Terran player should have vision of this. He does see the Spire. Is he doing anything about it? He needs a lot more Marines if he wants to hold off the Spire. Or at least if he wants Spires, he needs to hold off... He, got, he is getting stim. He, you should put, as the Terran player, you should put one turret right here, and one turret right near your gas and your minerals right here. So it makes it very difficult for any air to harass your mineral line. Because then, uh, the turret range should cover this... Should cover right here. This turret covers right here. So you're... You are not going to be damaged. And if the... Uh, Muta's uh, focus fire your turret just mass repair you'll manage it's not going to be too costly so anyways production of units you are getting a banging nest which is very intelligent I don't know if you should have got it earlier if you're going to go for Muta's you might as well have because if you're going to go for banglings, they do more damage when there's less units to counter. And so when you have the initial bit of zerglings and uh, like maybe, let's say how many units you have now. You have 8 zerglings. Maybe if you start out with, uh, let's say, 10 zerglings, get like 4 banglings. And when the Terran player only, I mean, it's essentially a bust. But it is a good investment because when there's a lot of uh, units, banglings become less useful. So anyways, this is very good harass right here. I just noticed this because I was questioning why all the SCVs were flying away. Very good harass. The Terran player did not do as I recommended. If he put, just put two turrets here, $200, he would, 200 minerals, he would be getting back all he lost right now. Because all that mining time he lost, his income is 40. He could have made up all that he lost already if he just built those two turrets. So all you Terran players, be sure to build those turrets. Right now we have 13 mutalists. Mutalists are just so good in this game. You could you could just you can still snipe. You can't stack overlords, but I mean mutalisk, but you can still snipe. You can pick off these three, run around, come back here again. And here comes the two turrets. This is what I'm talking about. I think this might be blocking the position. No, it isn't. And these two turrets are in very good position. This is exactly what I was talking about. You want them right here because they uh, this is oh too much, too much. Over investment. They are not these two are not very or even another one. Okay, so this is going a little overboard. A little bit way too much more than I said so now that you notice that the player is moving out sniping off the tank very intelligent just be sure to keep floating around make sure the Marines are out of place from the tanks and just snipe or when the player moves out just go and attack their base because they're gonna have nothing left and just try to count on holding this off while you can do a little damage in their base and then fly right back so that is what you could do and here comes the bailing bus let me see how this works you want to you can't you can't just use the attack button with your banglings, you have to focus fire. If you don't focus 